yeah so i figured i'd do one of these little vloggy things where people kind of take their cameras and look off to the side get that majestic shot of the beard you know the usual the usual here on youtube but no i actually did a, a video uh in freezing cold no gloves it's like eight degrees out 40 mile an hour winds this video is going to take a lot of editing and uh i hope you guys enjoy it because uh this was one challenging video to make and it's such an easy simple idea behind this video that i've been out here for like six hours freezing cold snow on the ground and i got this song stuck in my head and like I said, it's going to be part of the giveaway, so you're going to need to know this song. Just so everyone knows, you're not, you're not alone. You're not alone. And you're not alone. You're not alone. Hey, what's going on, guys? Oh, man, I'm really digging this new song. Why don't you guys check this out real quick? Right? That's good. I'm gonna drop a link to who's singing this song down in the description below. All right, as you can tell, it's snowing again, and I'm going to be showing you guys the three best wilderness shelter systems you can do in the cold. We're gonna do uh, two very basic ones, and we're gonna step it up and go a little bit more advanced. So if you guys like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget, there will be a giveaway in this video. All right, so first shelter system for winter camping. Uh, if you can't afford a hot tent, a lot of people just take their regular tent and take maybe a, a, a thicker, heavier sleeping bag. So we're gonna go ahead and set that up and we're gonna time each one and see how long it takes to set up each shelter. First shelter up, we have our traditional tent. Now the tent that I'm using, this one's a little bit more on the pricey side, as it is a ultralight tent. Uh, usually your tents will range between five to 10 pounds. This tent right here only weighs about two pounds altogether. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this going and I'll show you guys what it looks like. <laughs> completely set up with the rainfly tarp on that's just kind of half thrown on it could be a tad bit better uh, it's so cold out here that my battery's out on my camera but I'll show you exactly how long that took nine minutes and around 30 seconds I'm sure I get a lot of questions about this so I'll go ahead and show you guys now this is what it looks like without the rainfly it's all see-through mesh 
about six feet long, maybe a little over six feet, uh, with the, uh, the base, the beginning of this being about four feet wide. So if you guys look inside, there's actually plenty of room inside there to put everything you need to bring on a two to even five day uh, trip all inside. And like I said, this is self-standing. It's only got two poles that hold this tent up that counteract with each other. So there's some information if you guys are curious about this. This is a LL Bean Micro Light Tent. This tent goes for roughly $450 to $500. Alright, for me, this is the worst part when it comes to using a tent. You get leaves and everything else all over it. Uh, your stakes, they're going to have mud on it. You know, this takes a little extra time to uh, leave a campsite. And uh, this one actually didn't do too bad since the ground is still quite frozen. But if this was a muddy day or, you know, the ground had thawed out, that would just be covered in mud. You'd have one heck of a time trying to clean it before you put it back in its... Uh, compression sack. Where well, not? I think that's the only downfalls I have to using a tent. Uh, like I said, definitely let me know in your in the uh, comments down below uh, what method you prefer for uh, wilderness camping, uh, especially in the wintertime. All right, our second setup. I'm sure you guys can kind of guess what setup I'm going with here. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I had to stop because my camera quit recording once again due to the extreme cold weather. Uh, we have our tarp up in two minutes and 25 seconds. Now, most people like to use a, a tarp when they have their hammock set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue on putting that tarp up. I did pause the time, I just now started it. So we need to get our tarp up. and see which one got it too quickly. That's it guys, this is the uh, DD 3x3 tarp. This thing is awesome. I would recommend this tarp over any other tarp. We're just going to put one stake down right there so that all that rain would run off on one side or the other side or snow or whatever kind of conditions you got going on. Or if you just want some shade. And there you go, you can always tighten this up and, and readjust it as well. Uh, our official time is six minutes and 32 seconds. And then of course, uh, if you wanna just kinda put this up, you can actually hang this up and get a, a string line going and run it all the way across the tree so you can have that set up. Or in the morning, you just kinda throw it back there as you're just chilling in your hammock. Uh, this is an emu hammock that I'm using, by the way. Uh, you could definitely have a uh, sleeping pad, a self inflated sleeping pad, or a uh, your sleeping bag as well. With this tarp up over you, all that condensation and, and your body heat is going to keep you warm uh, pretty good throughout the night. All right, the last one I'm gonna show you guys today is gonna to be a lean-to style tarp shelter setup. This happens to be one of my favorites. I'm gonna start the clock and let's get started.
All right, you guys, so that is the lean-to style tarp shelter system. Uh, that, this one took way too long. Uh, like I said, the camera keeps dying, and it's super windy out, super cold. It's about 8 degrees out with, like, 40-mile-an-hour winds. Uh, this would be my favorite tarp shelter setup. I have a few more that I can do. Uh, just going to have to be for a different day. That was the three, the three shelter systems. And if you guys want to see more tarp shelter configurations, definitely leave me a comment down below and tell me which one you would like to see or if you just in general want to see a lot more. All right, bonus right here. I'm gonna show you guys one of the quickest and easiest tarp shelters that you can put up. I don't quite remember the name on top of my head. But what we're gonna do, we're just gonna get our line here. We're just gonna make a simple knot, overhead knot, like that. Having a, a nice square, we're gonna go vertical. We're gonna take one of these down. Doesn't really matter which one you guys take. We're gonna bring that up to this tree right here. We're gonna cinch a knot in it that we can adjust later down the road. All right, so this is, like I said, one of the easiest tarp shelters you can set up. Now, this is very nice and handy when you guys only have one tree to work on here. Now, as you can see, I can run different kind of guide links to hold up the top, give me a little bit more headroom. Or if I want a nice little profile like it is now, you can leave it, leave it just like that, add a few more stakes down here towards the bottom. And you have a one standing tree tarp set up. If there's only one tree that you're camping by, you can all use this shelter to your advantage. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys learned something. All right, I hope you guys learned something from this video. I know it's gonna it's gonna be a lot of editing because my camera keeps cutting out due to the cold weather. I actually can't feel my fingers right now. I didn't wear my gloves because I knew I was gonna be working with a lot of cordage. And it just makes it a lot harder, especially when it's this cold out. Like I said, it's about eight degrees, uh, 40 mile an hour winds. So I hope you guys learned something. As I said, this is what I'm giving away. There you guys go. I hope you guys can see that. This is a big Agnes tent. This is a $500 tent. This is kind of what the big leagues use when they go on uh, hiking and camping trips because it's ultra light as well. 
this is like I said this is a $500 tent this is gonna be a huge giveaway uh, anyone that does any outdoor camping anything like that they know that Big Agnes is a huge name when it comes to outdoor equipment so in order to win this I need you to leave me a comment below tell me what your favorite style shelter is when you go out camping do you use a tent do you use a hammock do you use a tarp what is it bonus the song I was singing and the song that I put up in the microphone like I said I'm leaving the link in the description so it should be a real easy one what song am I singing and who sings it that is all for this trip as always thank you god bless